here is the issue we're dealing with. We'll go to turn the key to on and then to start. And when we hit that start, nothing happens. Hey guys, Captain Paul here from Sail Monterey. I'm aboard Yuga, our 1997 Hunter 340. And we are having an engine start issue on this boat. Engine start issue on this boat. About two years ago, we replaced the original 3GM30F with a newer updated model, a 3YM30. It's got about 400 hours on it now. And here is the issue we're dealing with. We'll go to turn the key to on and then to start. And when we hit that start, nothing happens. No clicking, no alarms, no nothing. So, and maybe on the third or the fourth or the 15th time of turning the key to the start position, then the motor will start. it to be is I think the wire harness from the panel to the engine itself is not marine grade wire also it has several plug-in connectors for the wire harness extension and I believe that the voltage drop from those two issues is causing not enough power to reach the starter solenoid or the starter switch or whatever it is so what we're gonna do today I'm armed with some 10 gauge wire plus my electrical tools here and we're going to bypass the wire harness, but stay tuned for uh, some electrical work on this boat. Now, what I believe the problem to be is, are these connectors and these wires here. So you can see what you can see here is the white and the red wire are the two wires in question that we need to deal with that start the motor. So we're going to use that 12 gauge two wire and we are going to bypass the engine wire harness with those two wires. So essentially we're replacing the white and red wire with a brand new one piece. And here we are down below at the motor and you can see I did the same thing down here. I tried to splice just past this connector. Okay guys, here we are. We took our 12 gauge wire, so we've got... This will be the end that the panel. We brought it down into the pinnacle. Underneath. Floorboard. Goes into the after lazarette. And the lazarette down into the aft cabin. From there, it's coming out. Right here. Run it down this way. Right Once again, we are bypassing this wire harness. The wire harness that has the red and the white lines on it. We're going to start up here in the cockpit. Connectors. Full twist. So we're going to splice these red to red, white to yellow. Just going to go ahead and bypass. We're going to clip this one here. White wire here is possible because I don't have a lot of room to work with. And the other one we're going to take is this red wire here. I'm going to cut this as close to that connector as I can. Okay, and now I've got just a little bit of room to work with this red and white wire here. Okay, here's one, red to red, yellow to white. Right on there, looks good. Okay, give that a tug, just make sure it's looking good. Good cramps. Let's get some heat on that. OK, 
Okay, and here we are at the engine. Here are, here's the other side of that. You can see the clipping this red wire. That done. So you can see the difference between these wires. This is just copper wire. It's, it doesn't have any tin on it. So it will corrode in the marine environment. It'll oxidize a lot quicker than the tinned marine grade wire. Quote unquote marine grade. <laughs> Makes you think if anything's really marine grade during the ocean environment, it just destroys everything so fast. There you go. my red wire to stop somewhere around right here and I want my white wire my yellow wire to continue about this much save the rest for later looks pretty good. I'm gonna unsheath the red wire here. Bada bing. Now look at the difference here. Look at that. See how that's nice and shiny. Silvery color. That versus that. There. Let's see. So this is the stuff that oxidizes pretty quick. This stuff is pretty corrosion resistant. One more. Or a really good twist. Put that on there nice and clean. Get some heat on that. Go ahead and unsheath our yellow wire here. Don't need to do all of it. Some extra protection is always good there. Now, this spade connector that the yellow wire will be on goes right on here. That little. That little blade right there. All right, just like that. Nice little crimp. Give that a check and add some heat. So we've just bypassed the engine harness, right? And all those plugs. That's all we did. And uh, next thing I'll do is I'll come in here and I will zip tie the wires in place uh, so that they don't move around. But let's go give this a shot. Let's see how that does. All right, we're back. Let's give it a try. Okay, started up on the first go.